Welcome back. The Make-A-Wish Foundation is celebrating its 40th anniversary and joining us today from Studio 4B just outside of our building is Jared Perry, President and CEO of Make-A-Wish Utah. Jared, thank you for being here. Uh, start off by telling us about this milestone and the mission of Make-A-Wish. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, you know, we celebrate World Wish Day every week, every year, which is comes on April 29th. And this one's just a little bit different because this one, we're gonna celebrate our 40th anniversary of the first wish that was ever granted. So we're celebrating the wish that really started the movement that is Make-A-Wish Utah, uh, Make-A-Wish America, and then the, the corresponding chapters all around the country. And locally, we are the Make-A-Wish Utah chapter. And uh, we're granting wishes all the time to kids that are right here in our community that are going through some really devastating critical illnesses. And it's our opportunity to really show them that there's things to hope for and there's things to wish for in this world. Yeah, I noticed your uh, blue star pin. I've got one here as well. Tell us about the significance of this. Yeah, the star really is the icon of, of the Make-A-Wish emblem and logo. And so uh, it, it's our symbol of hope. And we're planning throughout this, this COVID-19 kind of threw some, uh, some wrenches in our plans, but we're planning on celebrating all year, especially April 29th, where we want to showcase the star. We want to be able to show our supporters in our community who stand up and make wishes possible every single day for these kids. And it really does take an entire community. You know, these wishes that we grant, they are magical and they are amazing, but it only happens because they're generous people in our community that really step up and become volunteers or have us on uh, TV programs and such to really tell our mission and our story. So these, these stars we're really sending out to everyone that supports Make-A-Wish to say thank you, we appreciate what you do, but also help us tell our story about kids that are waiting for wishes and how people could participate in uh, in our mission. Yeah, Jared, I've been fortunate enough to cover a number of these things and I've seen firsthand what it can do for the young patients and their families, but you've been involved in thousands of them. What, what does it mean to these families to have these wishes granted? You know, it means it means a great deal. We there's so many things that we know now about the journey of a wish and how important it is, and that's why healthcare providers are our number one partners on this. That's why they refer children to us, is because they know that it makes a difference in the entire medical diagnosis and journey of these children. And so we know it increases their physical and mental and emotional states of health. And those things can be critical when a child's going through so much. If we could just put something out there that says, let's just get through this. And if we can get through the worst of these things, here's this wish that's on the other side of that. And so we like to say that it's something that to fight for and, and that wish is right there and it stays with them. And in their most difficult days, we love it when they pull open a, a laptop and an iPad and, and just go through and start planning that wish and try to forget about the things they're going through at that moment and realize that there's an entire world out there that's waiting for them to get through this so that they can have that wish. So what better occasion than your 40th anniversary to get involved? How can people donate? How can they volunteer? Yeah, we're running a campaign that's actually gonna start on April 29th. It's, it's our Wish Heroes. Uh, if you wanna become a Wish Hero and fundraise, we'll help you set up fundraising pages and such. You can go to makeawishutah.org slash wish heroes. You can go and follow us on our social media at Make-A-Wish through um, Facebook, through Instagram, and through Twitter as well to kind of follow what we're doing. And we've got some great partners that uh, Crumble Cookie launched a, a cookie for Make-A-Wish today where the proceeds are going to be going to that. And they've identified a number of areas where their customers can help participate. And so simply buying a cookie from, from Crumble, uh, and it's a Make-A-Wish cookie, uh, that's something that can, can actually fuel wishes and help us. All right, Jared Perry, thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon and keep making those wishes come true. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. Well, a